he can do, right? If you're getting coached by, you know, from your coach, from your corner, and they're telling you to do this, he might be able to turn into a single. Sprawls out here to Zach Mitzov. A little bit of the tape coming loose on the left glove of the former world champion. That tango on the feet foot knee landed there by Danny Kiad. Chance of the elbows, there it is! Hey, that's more like it! And Olivia sees that tape that comes loose. Rips it off, we're back underway. Can Danny keep it striking? In the Wushu realm and work his magic. He's got to stay on his feet, Danny Kingan. He cannot go to ground against Karen at the top. Ooh, he's, ooh he tagged him. Uppercut, follow punch, another one. You see Denny Kia desperation now. He wants to land that big salvo. That one big shot that may drop Karen at the top. And it's not beyond the realm of possibility for Denny Kia to do that. Yeah, I like how he starts going to the uppercuts too to deter that shot. I want to see the knees. I want to see the uppercuts coming from Akinia. You can see him threatened there with the uppercut. Look at him. This is the danger time now for Karad Akhmatov with two minutes 20 remaining because Danny Kinnan's confidence is building. The longer it stays on its feet, some knees on the inside here from the King. Kinnan's got to separate here. He's not going to do it right here. He just don't want to tangle in the clinch with Kairat, even though he's got the underhooks on both sides. Don't forget the Greco-Roman wrestling known for its upper body strength, which is what Mitch is talking about. You've got to get out of this situation. Break off. Work the distance for the Wushu strikes. Looks like Kyra might be fatigued a little bit. He's not even pummeling in. He's just kind of sitting there with it. King Ant needs to separate. Get back to those uppercuts. Get back to the striking. One minute 45. Kyra has built up so much of a lead with just his aggression on the ground and his top control. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Talking knee to the inside. Okay, there. Akhmatov says, okay, boss, no worries. It didn't hit me in the groin. Have a knee there from King Ad. Right idea. Love to see him get the right arm free and crack an elbow across the jaw of Akhmatov. But there's no separation here, Dragon. Yeah, I don't know if it's because King Ad's not letting go or Kairat's not letting him give him that space, but. This is a good. This is good for Kairat Akhmedov to just sort of ride out the round here. Kingad's got to separate. I don't know why he's, he's trying to take him down. One minute left. In the trying to guess the game plan here of Danny Kingad with 56 seconds remaining in our last fight of 2021. Team Philippines leading the world two to one. But Karen Akhmatov having a very good 10 minutes of this fight. And now he's back on top and he's inside control. Oh, that was beautiful timing from Kairat Akhmedov to catch the knee like that and to turn around and put him on his back. Will Danny Rue a missed opportunity on the feet to not have broken off and worked the striking that was looking better in this round? Possibly. He's, he might regret it, but he also gave him a little bit of time to maybe he was tired. But I don't know what he was thinking at that point in time, but Kairat Akhmedov off showing the veteran that he is and uh, really put together a good display here trying to work that grounding pound from the top position wow how about the grunting of Karen Akhmatov put a bow on that and there's the sportsmanship and the goodwill Rightfully so for the holiday season ahead. It looks like it'll be a draw tonight between Team Philippines, Team Lakai, and the world. It goes down to the judges, which is not where Akhmatov wanted it to go. But he controlled everything on the ground, and most of the fight was on the ground. Yeah, his top control was there. He did good inside the clinch. You know, King Ant had some moments, but I just don't think it was enough. It was just that grappling coming from Kairat Akhmedov was just too much to deal with. He was able to get on top, soften him up with a ground and pound, and just control really the entire 15 minutes. King Ant did have his moments, but not enough. Nothing to be ashamed of. Took on a former world champion. Let's go down to Tom Lau now and find out our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Blue Corner at Metal. 
Kazakh flag is flying high in Singapore tonight. And what tremendous sportsmanship and Budo spirit between these two warriors. Look at that respect between Karen Akhmatov and Danny Kingan. And what a night. Team Philippines against the world ends in a two-all draw. Wins to Junglo Sengyao and Stefan Lohmann. Losses to Bellignon and Kingan.